So, uh, yeah. This one is my game. Brick Breaker. Uh, not one of the best weapons. Uh, you can see it can't really be used at the top of the screen. Oh yeah, Transmat. Transmat is actually my favorite weapon. I love the Transmat. Ugh. This is one of the few levels where the Brick Breaker actually makes sense. Yes, and here it is. Double jump. Double jump. Double jump. <laughs> oh yeah, let's uh, this other level over here is great for the brick breaker. It was specifically designed for the Brick Breaker. I think. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, this door might be just slightly too high. Oh, I love the transmat. Doing. <laughs> this level is also uh, so much easier with double jump. It's not only easier, but with the uh, double jump, you can get the extra chest at the end. All right. Another area that's only supposed to be accessible with the double jump, you can get here without the double jump. But I'm not going to tell you how. I'm using the shield generator. Uh, it is one of two weapons that has zero offensive capability. You can't actually hurt someone with the shield generator. Shield generator is really useful for just running through areas. Ah! The most aggravating. <laughs> Ah. Oh, god damn it. Ah. Alright, this level is just kind of, you know, I'd say a little bit too annoying. Thankfully, this level is. Oh! This level is evil. I have made it through like once. So the weapon positions in the game are randomized at the start of the game. So if you start the game and you get, uh, say, the Brick Breaker and you're upset with that because the Brick Breaker really does suck as a weapon, uh, you can just start a new game. And you'll get something else. Like the fish schooler, or the transmat, or the shield generator. Those are all wonderful weapons. <laughs> ah yes, the potato. This is the only other weapon besides the shield generator. This is the only other weapon besides the shield generator that has Potato! 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 <sighs> yeah. Fish! Fish are way better. Fish explode. Potatoes do not explode. Uh, if you're having trouble with this first part, stand on this platform to the right or the one on the left, because you won't get knocked off as easily. Alright. Looking good. Oh, ah. 
Okay, I got the gun, which of course was the uh, first the first gun that I implemented in the game. It's just pretty simple. Ah, uh, there's a guy standing on the exit. That's bad luck. Switch back to Transmath. Transmath is actually just a whole lot funner. Possibly even a better weapon than the gun. Although the gun is supposedly the ultimate weapon. Uh, I said that the weapons are randomized, but there's one weapon which is not randomized. The gun is never the last one. It's always the last one. The gun is always the last one. Ah, and here is the most nerve-wracking jump in the game. Oh, yes. I have fallen into the lava there before. Okay. Oh. We're on the home stretch. We have all of the weapons. I'm just gonna go grab, I'm just gonna go back and grab the last heart. Just for completion's sake, the last heart. And here we are, that's the game. Ah! Oh, looks like I didn't get all of the hearts after all. Maybe there's another one hidden somewhere. Anyway, uh, the message here changes a little bit based on how well you do. There is a special message if you get all the items. There is also a special message if you pick up no hearts during the entire game. It is possible to beat the game without picking up any hearts. Thanks for watching. This is Chaos Tomb.